Good morning, great and wonderful grade six. How are you today? Good to have you back in class today. Today we're going to be looking at order of operation, and in order of operation we have the addition, the minus, the multiplication, and then the division. We're taking the page 44 and page 45, okay? That's the lesson of today, order of operation. You might be thinking, where do I start from? I'm going to be explaining to you where you will start from. So all I need you to do is to build your pencil and your notebook and to pay attention to the work we're going to take today. So first, we have some examples which we're going to take together. First, you do the division followed by the multiplication and then the addition before the subtraction. So first, you do the division followed by multiplication and then the addition before the subtraction. That is in some cases, okay? But now what are we gonna do? We have, here are some of the examples. We have 36 minus 47 minus 92 plus 124. So what we're gonna do here is this. We're gonna take 36, let's give space. We're gonna take 36 plus 124. 36 plus 124, what will be our answer? It's going to be what? 160. 160. So once we get 160, what are we going to do? It means then we're going to minus everything. So we're going to take 160. We're going to take 160 minus 160 minus 47 which is going to give you what 113 and then you take 113 now we subtract 92 113 subtract 92. Your final answer is going to be 21. Okay, what did I do first? I take the first number and I add it to the one that is called addition. Okay, 36 plus 124. Okay, we're going to take the next example. Now, in this next case, we have 75 minus 46 plus 31 minus 28. Now, what are we going to do first? We're going to start from the beginning because we don't have the multiplication or the division sign, okay? So we're going to take 75. 75 minus 46. 75 minus 46. What's going to be your answer? Remember, we're going to take one from seven and give to five. It will be 15. And then the final answer is going to be 20 what? Nine. It's going to be 29. And after the 29, what are you going to do? We're going to take, sorry, one minute. Then we're going to take 29. 29 plus 31 which is gonna give you what, 60. And then you take 60 minus 28. Your answer is gonna be what, 32. You saw how I did it because there is no division or multiplication. So I started from the beginning, okay? I take it from the beginning straight, okay? Now, the reason why we took the first one, because it has the minus and then the addition at the end, okay? So now we have the division and then subtraction and then all that. So which one are you going to answer first? There is division, so you start with division. 54 divided by 6, this is going to be what? 54 divided by 6. Fifty-four divided by six is gonna give you what nine, and then we make 
9 minus 5. And then you make 9 minus 5. Your final answer is going to be what? Four. Is that easy as this? I trust my wonderful kids. They are so smart. So 9 multiplied by 7. And then what? 9 multiplied by 7 minus 75 divided by 5. What is the rule? You start with the division before the multiplication. So we take 75 divided by 75 divided by 5. 75 divided by 5 is going to be 15. Okay. It's going to be 15. And then what do you do? You do the multiplication. What is the multiplication? The multiplication is 9 multiplied by 7, which is what? 6 to 3. Which is 6 to 3. Which is 63. And after that, what are you going to do? You're going to minus. We're going to take 63 minus 15. I guess you can count. Our answer is going to be 48. This is as easy as you can see. Order of operation from page 44 and page 45. Okay, I'm going to see you in class later. Do have a wonderful time. Bye.